Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? you back. Good fellow Sports TV. If you haven't been following Twitter, um, Tevin Farmer has been acting like um, he's the greatest boxer of all time. He's forgot how, how it feels to be a challenger. And it's happy. I'm happy that he's a champion and he's getting money. But it's to the point of his, uh, his arrogance. It's to the point that is of ignorance. And it's to the point where a lot of people root for him to lose low-key. And um, it's because he turned a lot of people off. And um, he got into it with Jojo Diaz. And he's acting like um, that Jojo Diaz is beneath him. But we all know that Jojo Diaz will probably get him a tough fight and probably whoop his ass. But let's speak on it. we back. Good fellow Sports TV. Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or a video request. I definitely appreciate everybody for checking in. Um, and don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. So from soaps, lotions, lip balm, uh, most relaxed to rub, the whole nine. Um, check them out. Don't forget to use that uh, promo code. And we're doing giveaways as well this week. But let's talk about JoJo and Tevin. But Tevin Farmer's going around acting like, um, you know, he's this, this mega star in boxing. He's acting like he got all the bills in boxing, like he a pound for pound star. And I, I think I can speak for a lot of people on social media that are boxing fans um, are sick of his shit. All right. You know, as as, as irritating as Tank can be on, on on social media, I think Tevin Farmer double or triple him up. Um, he's going around calling people bums. He's going around, you know, saying who should get a title shot, who shouldn't get a title shot, you know. He he's really he's really cherishing and really he's sulking in the moment. All right. I mean when you say he's sulking, he's sulking. He cherishing it. He acting like he the ruler. He don't know what it is to eat rummy noodles with a scrap and feel to get knocked out several times in your career and rebuild your career and build yourself up. He's around here trying to deem who and who who deserves a title shot. And that's all fine and dandy if you out here fighting top level opposition. This nigga ain't fighting nobody. He lucked up on the belt. All right. If Tank didn't lose his belt on the scale, he wouldn't have fought Tank even as a mandatory because he opportunity he had an opportunity to fight Tank on the Conor McGregor undercard and he bitched out and he went on and fought and wanted to fight Billy Dibbs. He said, "Oh, you know, I, I want to earn mine the hard way." Like I said before, nigga going to sleep regardless. It's Jojo Diaz, Te, uh, Tevin, I mean Tank, Ito, Bachet. It, it don't really fucking matter. I mean, the level of opposition this nigga been fighting. You know, even when he got the belt, Billy Dibbs was. Well, he wasn't even. He was uh, Lily Dibs. He was he was a dead man, and even Lily Dibs was touching him up. Then he fought James Tennyson, who lost to a dude like like a six and sixty seven record. He lost to a dude like that was like six and sixty seven. So we already know what that's about. He couldn't punch. Then he just fought uh Forsaco uh in December, and um he didn't even stop Forsaco, and a fat tank stopped him. All right. Then he goes around, and then he fights uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, who the hell did he fight a couple weeks ago? I, oh, Joe, uh, John O'Carroll, a guy that we ain't never heard of, a guy that can't punch again, okay? Obviously, when a guy's moving like he's moving and he's fighting nine punchers, he fight lower level, lower level opposition, and he would have started up company of his own. Obviously, they're trying to protect him, and he know he ain't as good as he say he is, okay? Real talk, a fighter knows. And if he good, really, if he good, he'll fight Jojo Diaz. Jojo Diaz invited him to fight on the Canelo undercard May 4th, He's sitting here saying JoJo ain't that good. Or whoop de whoop whoop whoop. Trust me, man. Joe, Joe, JoJo Diaz move up to 130. I don't know if he's there yet. If he move up to 130, he should have more energy because he almost took out Gary Russell. If he has some more energy, he's an Olympian. He's a by far better fighter than Tevin Farmer. And in my opinion, he beat the hell out of Tevin Farmer. I believe he almost stopped Tevin Farmer. Then again, back to the ghetto, Tevin Farmer go. You know what I'm saying? But if he played the role, he was more cordial, more nice, more gracious. Just happy to be here like most motherfuckers that, that they ain't expected to be on the top or expected to get a belt and, and just really nice. A lot of people want to be sitting here exposing this dude. You know, we'll play the role and be like, okay, it was just a matter of time before he get fucking iced. And everybody know it. You know, if he fight anybody with a post at 130, he get iced. I think some 126 pounders come up and give him some problems. And y'all know I don't like Leo Santa Cruz. He'll whoop him. I think Josh Warrington got a chance. I think uh, obviously Gary Russell beat the hell out of him. 
So, you know what I'm saying? I think even the point is Ryan Garcia might have a chance to beat him. And I know if Shakur get past Christopher Diaz, he going to ice the fuck out of Tevin Farmer, even if he move up in his next fight. You know? So this dude ain't that good, man. He can't punch. He not that slick. He looks slick versus these Juno Carrolls and James Tennyson. Even them, it's, even those guys are touching him up, you know? And like I said before, I don't ever want to speak down on somebody, but, hey, man, this nigga got to get humbled. He need, We need to push for him to fight Jojo Diaz. Okay, he beat Jojo Diaz. I got a lot of respect for him. All right? I got a lot of respect for him if he beat Jojo Diaz. But I don't expect him. If Pedraza knocking your ass out, and people say that was early in his career, whoop de whoop 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 guess what? You still got knocked out. You know, you should have been taking boxing serious because who, who lakes up gloves or who go to a job where every day your life can be on the line? Not only in the gym, in in the ring, but, you know, your life can be on the line any, you know, any given moment. So anytime you go into a serious job, you work at a nuclear plant, you work as a firefighter. You think the motherfuckers be bullshitting around? Oh, I'm not taking it serious. Because you want if you ain't in shape and your lung capacity ain't right, and you ain't trained to take being a firefighter serious, you can burn up in a building. You know what I'm saying? So same thing for boxing. Every time you lay some gloves up, you bullshitting half-assed and not taking it serious. You don't belong in the sport. So that's not an excuse. Because every time you take a chance or take a risk with your life in a sport like that or a job like that, you're supposed to be laser-focused. Your eye supposed to be on the prize. You know, your concentration supposed to be no bullshit, no matter no matter what, you know. But at the end of the day, we need to push for this JoJo Diaz fight, you know. Real talk, Tevin Farmer talking all that shit, you know, all, all this shit. Like, he fighting, you know, David, he fighting, motherfucker, he fighting Goliath, you know, he fighting, uh, he fighting the Arab, he fighting whoever, you know, fighting somebody good. You know, he talking all that junk, but we all know it's, it's a matter of time until some a good mandatory get in there and, and ice his ass. We know it. You know, you can look at him and tell him he ain't that good, bruh. You you think Javante Tank Davis get out of one round with uh you think uh uh Jono Caro uh or um or you know for, uh, not for sake of Jono Caro and James Tennyson get out of round one with, with with Tank Davis? No. Shit, Tevin might not get out of round one with Tank Davis. You know, but I you know, I understand where kind of Tevin coming from saying JoJo need to earn his shot because if JoJo was in that position and I, and I will vouch for Tevin this way. If JoJo was in that position, he ain't giving no black guy that, that opportunity. You know, do I do feel Tevin on that one? Real talk. Because JoJo wouldn't even look Tevin Farmer away. No matter if he was beatable or not beatable, he wouldn't give him no opportunity. But as the black fighters, they always ask to, to get Hispanic or the white fighters or the Ukrainians or whoever the fuck you want to uh, uh, say. They always, you know, expected to give them a shot. Is when they make them wait, oh, you ducking Lou Matisse, you ducking Matisse, or you, you ducking, you ducking Canelo. Man, come on, man. Imagine the road, the, uh, the roles were reversed with Jamal and Canelo. Man, motherfuckers would be dogging uh, Jamal and Charlo out. So they sit there and they vouch for their guy when it's convenient for them. Had this been the roles reversed and JoJo been the IF, be IBF title and, and um, Tevin Farmer coming up, JoJo wouldn't gave him a shot. So at the end of the day, JoJo, and I agree with Tevin, got to earn his shot, though. You know, we'll get ranked in the IBF, get the mandatory, and then we can fight. I'm not handing no giveaways out unless you give me a 80-20 split or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Unless you ain't fight, you fighting for free and I get the 100%. And that's the way it got to be because, you know, uh, I will vouch for Tevin there. Uh, Jojo Diaz wouldn't have gave this nigga helping him. He wouldn't have gave him an opportunity. It don't work that way. Oscar didn't get Floyd opportunity right away. He had to move up several weight classes to get an opportunity. So that's just what it boiled down to. That's just what it boiled down to. So I ain't knocking Tevin for not fighting him, but if you're going to sit there and, and say who I should fight next, who line him up, I'll fight anybody, and then somebody come out there and challenge you that's formidable, they got the credentials, and now you just want to sit like you 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 better than everybody else, and you was just you was just making 60000 fighting Billy Diz before you got to the zone. Life will humble you real fast, so he need to really pipe down and really humble himself. And if he don't, if he don't humble himself, it's going to be a problem. You know, he gonna in the end when he when he get his, his melons cracked open and everybody laughing at him, he gonna go and hiding on Twitter and shit. So hopefully he's saving his money up because it ain't gonna be long for him. Trust and believe, it ain't gonna be long for him. You know, somebody formidable get up in there and that protection gone, or he got to fight Tanky and his zone don't sign him back. Oh yeah, he getting ice, ice baby. But yeah, man, it was a good fight versus him and JoJo. I expect JoJo to wax his ass though, but. Hey, don't don't matter to me. But 
Hey, don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, ship, or a video request. Appreciate everybody for showing love. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, TheHellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow on Boxing. Get you 18% off of their all-natural products. Check them out. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. I got two tiers, raw and uncensored, uh, uncut for boxing fans. Check that out. In addition, you know, just keep sharing the videos the best way you can donate. If you want to make a donation, the link's in the description.